All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout New Vegas series of Nova Arizona, where today I'm surprised that we're still playing Nova Arizona. I really figured that the last episode would be it for this series until either the full release or if I can't wait that long, you know, just waiting for a few updates down the line. Uh, but no, no, we found, purely by luck of <laughs> going back to talk to that journalist dude, a new quest that very much does intrigue me. Now, I'm sure, I'm sure while exploring this new world over here that we've probably missed some other things, including possibly some other quests. Uh, but I'm okay with that for the time being. But this one really caught my eye, and I really, really want to play through it because I'm hoping it's going to give us a lot of new lore for this new part of the world. I don't want to say it's my big issue with the mod because it's still in beta. There's still much, much stuff to come in the future. But right now, I'd have to say the thing that saddens me the most, I think is the best way to put it, is that we don't have more lore about what's going on over here. We do get some, but I would, I would really love to know a lot more about a lot more places here. And I'm hoping that this quest is going to give us some more of that. So that's really why I want to play it and why we're continuing on, potentially for a couple of episodes. I have no idea how many interviews we're going to have, but I'm excited, especially about this first one here with the Chainway, because we only got like a few little tidbits of info about it, so I would very much like to know more and how things are going, what happened to it, etc. So, uh, yeah, we'll go and chat with the foreman over there in a moment. Before we do, though, oh boy, I've got something I don't normally do on my videos that I should and am about to. I have a special little in-video announcement. Uh, don't worry, it's not some ad read for a weird mobile game or anything like that. No, no, no. It's uh, an announcement for a new feature on the channel. I recently added in YouTube memberships. So if you do enjoy the channel and like to help support me, please do go check it out. We've got three different tiers, adding in things like loyalty badges and special emojis, as well as special community posts that you can have access to, and even discounts to the merch store. So again, if you are a fan and would like to help support the videos that I do make, check it out. Hopefully you do enjoy it. And in the future, there may be changes to some of those Here's uh, the things added in, perhaps. This is this is all new to me, so <laughs> I don't know if the tiers that I have at the moment are the greatest, but um, there may be things added to them over time. But yes, yes, that's that's good, right? That, oh boy, it's technically an ad read, I guess, but technically not, and that's not something I'm used to doing. But hopefully it wasn't too jarring and out of place for you guys. So let's go talk to the foreman and actually get rolling with things here today, and hopefully get ourselves some lore and less lag than we just had there a second ago. Weird. Also, is that guy just... Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought for a moment that that was like a weird wall that he was sitting on there and floating on top of, but, but no, it's actually like a walkway here. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, hey, Foreman, what is going on with the chainway? Hello. Sorry, Mikas, but now isn't the time. Oh, but I'm here for an interview. Uh, okay. Oh! <laughs> you know, I never thought about coming back to this guy to give, uh, you know, to tell him that we finished with that receipt to that trade company. Since we delivered the receipt, I just kind of figured we're done. We're good. So, huh. Yeah, I should probably actually finish that unmarked quest. Hi, remember me? A while ago, I delivered that receipt for you. You have the thanks of the Legion. Cool, just Legion fame gained. Oh, no money? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Or at least we got that out of the way. Okay, so hey, Radio New Vegas is doing a report on the Chainway. Would you care to comment? Radio New Vegas, a journalist? No, I'm busy. Ah, oh, come on, man. Can help me out a little bit, right? Oh, I didn't even think we'd need more speech points. Yeah, that would make sense. Thankfully, we're good on this today. But I need to make sure I have another. I think I, I think I did loot off camera another Meeting People magazine. Oh, we may need that. Oh, how close am I to leveling? We could put more into speech. But for now, 
Speech 60, this is a golden opportunity to showcase how you are lead leading the Legion in outperforming the NCR. It would be nice for people to know how the Legion is outpacing NCR in Reconstruction. What questions do you have? Thank you, Foreman. And apparently we only have one. Also, crap, I'm a ways away from another <laughs> level. Dang. Oh, yeah, we did level up fairly recently, didn't we? Uh, I should have put it all into speech. Oh, well. So where does the Legion get these materials from? We mine the rocks from Fusiodolin, the iron from the Malpace mines, and flu ash from the Mojave. After that, we haul water jugs from River Lake Me to here. The concrete is mixed. The iron rods are inserted. Has the Legion moved the concrete from the ground to up there? Several of our slaves were offered greater rations, provided that they climb the chainway and move par parts up there. It was an amazing display of what slaves can do when properly motivated by the Legion. Once the parts were up, a work camp was established. And is it dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. Many slaves have died and will die in the construction of the chainway. Many of them were stupid, but some of them were not. It's dangerous work, and if all the slaves in the Legion show the determination of our slaves here, then the Legion would be marching on shady sands. And then there were a few words after that. May I speak to the slaves about their work? Hmm, it is irregular, but yeah, why not? You know, fair. Okay. I'm actually surprised he said yes. Any chance I could speak with the slaves alone? <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Interesting, though, I did like that we were hearing about their logistics of, you know, where all the stuff was coming from. And if I'm remembering, wasn't the... I forget the name, but something Dolan. Isn't that the, the quarry slash mine that we found over by Dolan Springs? That would make sense with the name. But hey, is there any chance I could speak with the slaves alone? Be grateful you're receiving this opportunity at all. Yeah, I kind of kind of figured that's where that was going. Okay follow you i guess did our thing change at all or are we just still just uh yeah interviewing people around oh yeah whoops <laughs> so hey remember a couple episodes back where uh we were doing the graffiti mission and i mentioned at the beginning of that video that i was going to revert to my old save before we went into the uh the securitron vault and that was going to be our cannon. Whoops! I forgot to do that. We're still on. We're still on our character that sided with the with the Caesar. Huh. Well, maybe that's our cannon now. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I. Ooh. Do I, do I still have that save? I I keep a couple of saves. Did I accidentally save over that? I may still have it actually. Uh. Oh yeah, this was it right here. Actually, I think this was the one maybe. No, no, this is the one that I did, because we're at level 25, and I leveled up inside the Securitron Vault, I believe. This is before that, though. Boy, that's, uh, hmm. <laughs> I entirely forgot that I was going to revert that after that mission. Whoops. Well, yeah, maybe our canon now is that we, we sided with the Legion. Oh, I was trying to keep myself kind of open to any faction cuz you know assassin character got to go anywhere I mean I still might go back I can always it's not too bad to revert but okay that's a problem for me for later <laughs> let's just continue on here oh yo still on break correct it was just Nestor here huh I'm sorry sir what did I do wrong I don't remember this guy being named previously Nothing, a man from Radio New Vegas is here to interview you. Better make it a good interview. Interview, but what about my quota? Ooh, yeah, what about his quota? Also, nice work back there. Your quota will be reduced by 5%. Now give the reporter what they want. <laughs> okay, you know, that's uh, kind of nice. Okay, Nestor, we good? I don't remember you being named over here before, but I may have just missed you. Hi, Nestor. Uh, an interviewer, you have questions? So, what's it been like working on the chainway? Absolutely wonderful. It's the hardest work assignment I've been in, but easily the most fulfilling. Is it, though? The foreman is tough but fair, and I wouldn't trade it for anything else. Is there anything else, sir? <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'll return back to Stanley with that. Do I give him some water? I'm intrigued what'll happen if the foreman be like, hey, no. 
Yeah, I'm gonna give him some water. I'm, I'm just curious what'll happen. Uh, thank you. I gained karma. Okay, that makes sense. And I lost a purified water. Well, bye bye Time to get back to work then. Thank you for everything, Foreman. Do we have anything else? No, that's it. All right, bye-bye. All right, and we go back to talk about the interview and then see what other, hopefully, potential things we'll get. With my luck, this is the only one. <laughs> I was so excited at the beginning of the episode to go get sent out in the world to get multiple interviews. With my luck, it's going to be just the one, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking maybe off camera I revert back to that save file, though. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's a problem for me for later. All right. Back in here. And boy, I'm actually glad we got that little bit of, uh, of karma, because I did lose a lot of karma in the, in the tops heist. <laughs> we, st we stole a lot. We, we opened up a lot of those safes to, uh, you know, get some more cash. That was a lot of karma lost there. Yo, Stanley! Hello. Did you finish the chainway assignment? I did. Great. Tell me what you learned. Legion shows significant ingenuity in rebuilding the chainway. We should focus on that. That won't get us killed. So yeah, Legion's progress in rebuilding the chainway is slow. We should focus on the. Is it though? I mean, with what they've been working on. Yeah, they've had to get together the logistics for everything. I'll go with this one. Yeah. Okay, Legion Ingenuity. Legion will probably like that. What about the slaves? What's the work there like for them? Well, they seem content and happy with their work. They get extra rations if they don't die. I doubt that. I mean, do you even ask any of the slaves for their opinion? But hey, so that's what they said. That's what they said. Oh, well, the Chainway isn't a particularly interesting story anyways. Is it? Oh, but I did the thing. Well, what's next? Oh, thank God there's more. And really only 100 caps. I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah, what's next? All right, now the real meat, the slave trade. I'll come clean right with the gate and say that I've been trying to make headway with the story for a while. My grand vision is to profile the inner workings of the Legion slave economy. Ooh. I think it'll play well to Vegas, maybe even give the NCR socialites something to chew on. <laughs> well, here's a foreign empire, a great big boogeyman, but in the heart of the Legion is an economy not unlike what we have back home. Just with people instead of land and stocks. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's an interesting way to put it. I've done some preliminary work on the story, but I'd love to see what you find. Your energy and that mark you have may be the key to something. Okay, where do I start? I know there's a new representative of White Sands Caravan over at the market. Oh, I think I've met that guy. And there's the independent slave trader, Malachi. Talk to them and see what you can dig up. Okay, so we actually got two points on this one. So yeah, we've either got interview the slavers at the White, at the White Sands Trading Post or interview Malachi. I mean, we're clearly going to go do the optional Malachi one, too. Is that just the slave market right behind us? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm all paced market. Good, 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 good. So we just gotta go around here and get the Legion whitewashed story about uh, their slavery. <laughs> All right, where is this uh, Malachi guy? We'll talk to them first instead of the optional thing. And see what's what. I bet it's that person back. Oh, that's Trader Carlos. Never mind. Hi, Malachi. That was the optional one, correct? Just to remind myself so I don't do the wrong thing. Yup, optional interview Malachi. We've talked to him before, too, so we've, we've got a rapport. Yay, friend, how's it going? We talked a while back, briefly. Ah, uh, howdy, partner. If you're here to make a purchase, I'm sorry to say, but I'm all sold out. But if you give me your details, I'll absolutely be able to slot you in with our next shipment. Assuming, of course, you can take advantage of my low, low prices. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, you gave me that same spiel last time. So... <gasps> Hello. That's new. So, yeah. How can... Oh, hello. I don't think that's a part of the interview. I think that's just in general. But, um... How can you capture enough slaves to maintain a contract with the Legion just by hunting tribals? Barter 50. Heck yeah. Come on. There are lots of tribals. Even if I'm the only one who knows how to find them. Oh, is that it? 
To capture them all, you'd have to have an army of slavers big enough to rival the Legion. Do they all get a cut of the profit? You wouldn't be impugning my good business here, would you? How about you start talking straight and get to the point? My point is that your story doesn't add up. How are you really getting these slaves? Travels are not slaves are slaves. Maybe I've managed to sidestep the business of hunting them down. So what? The efficiency of my operation is second to none. You know why? Because my slaves are born in captivity. Oh, holy crap. You only need a few men and a few women, but them, uh, keep them. You think I'm going to kill my golden goose? Oh, Jesus. I let them fuck. I keep them healthy. No harm is done to them. We've been doing it this way for years. Can you argue with the results? Yes. Yes, I can argue with the results. Dear God. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey, that kind of does the interview, even though we didn't tell him we were part of the radio. Radio Vegas. I'm okay with that. Huh. So is, is breeding slaves against the law on the Legion? Huh. <laughs> I'm actually genuinely surprised by that. I thought they would have been, eh, like, meh. Give me everything you got. Otherwise, I'm reporting your ass to Legion, executing in the name of the Legion. Vile crime ends here. It's none of my business. I mean, does this, uh, does this just, we walk away? I mean, we could also just kill him. <laughs> I'm kind of intrigued to see that where that goes. <laughs> But interesting, no, interesting note, though. On that, I wouldn't have thought that, uh, I mean, I don't know if canon-wise if it is against the Law and the Legion. But I like that addition in here, that that could be something seen as illegal. Uh, I'll go with, you know, I got enough caps. I am an assassin. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm curious what this is going to do that's different. Is he still going to attack me? Or am I going to be able to, like, report him somewhere? I'm not going to click this one just because I'm curious. I mean, this is clearly... This is clearly we extort him. This, we just straight up kill him. This, we go, eh. What is this exactly going to do? Your vile crime ends here. Help? Hey. Oh. They hardly even know how well, to fight. Well, he's red. Oh. The... Why is he chasing him? <laughs> I'm very confused right now. I mean, he's red, so we just we just kill him, right? Watch out! Hi, hi, friend. Had enough? H had enough? Oh, he's actually finally fighting back. Okay, I was wondering when this was gonna, where this was going. But all right, we'll die. Well, he's dead now. Cut it out, will you? Yeah, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I'll take you. Sweet. All right, and everyone else is cowering in fear. Yeah, that makes sense. What happened to that one caravan guard running that, or caravaner that ran that way? I don't know. I mean, I know we still have our other interview, but where did that, where did that person go? Oh, Malbay's guard. What's the meaning of this? Why'd you kill that slaver? Violence against legitimate merchants will not be tolerated. Okay, okay. He was a chattel slaver and had been cheating the Legion. A hey, Wonderful. Hmm, you have the mark of Kaisar, so I'm implored to believe you. I'll radio this in and have the Contemernium sent to his ranch. If they find evidence of this chattel slavery, then you will have the Legion's thanks. Otherwise, you can expect a visit from us. Got it. Hey, Legion fame gained. Nice. Seriously, where'd that other one go, though? <laughs> they disappeared. They took their opportunity and ran. All right. Well, I'm glad that the guards did come up to us, because it would be it was a little weird uh, of us just murdering that guy. But, boy, is he, t he, just, he really just ran off, didn't he? Damn. Damn, Carlos. You should probably not run off into the wild. Oh, no. What if he dies? Before I can interview him. Oh, thank God he's in a safe area. You should probably return to your to your your hut over there or your tent back there. Hi, hi, Carlos. There's some reason you're talking to me. I'm with Radio New Vegas. We're doing a report on slave traders. Can you spare a few words? You serious? You just step out of the ultra lux or something? Didn't Mr. Vegas ever tell you to not talk to slavers? It must have slipped his mind. I guess he'll just have to air my eulogy between songs. Now, that interview. 
You're funny. Sure thing. Has me muy famoso, but what do you want to know? Hmm. What's it like being a slaver? It's rough business. You have to spend sometimes six months to a year out in the wild of Texas and Mexico. You go. You got to bring all the food and water you can to make the trips. You got to be armed to the teeth to defend it from raiders and wildlife. You got probably never seen a gila monster. Oh, I fought those, but they're nasty fuckers. Then you've got to spe- oh, damn, they're going too fast again. And you've got to be the on constant alert to make sure the deals don't go bad. Okay, okay, yeah, I missed a few sentences there, but what about capturing the slaves? That's got to be pretty difficult, right? You're right there. Sometimes it's necessary to bust down some doors. I've been to plenty of raids like that over the years. Plus, the cargo's got legs, and sometimes they try to flee. Catching them without killing them is a major pain in the ass. It requires skills that most raiders who become slavers don't got. Can't tell you how many bastards we have to terminate for losing, I assume, a slave. Okay. And how'd you become a slaver? family business my dad was a slaver pulled me into it too been doing the job for 15 years we weren't cut out for living in tucson damn it uh, i uh, always said tucson used to be a shithole but i never saw it places nothing but traitors and something yeah it's going too fast it's going too fast and are you still a slaver no nah, i'm with the white sands now i mostly process the slaves in the logbook sometimes i do the paperwork officiating captures of slaves bureaucratic nightmare still it's miles better than hoofing it to get the cargo you know fair <laughs> And tell me about White Sands. White Sands is the biggest caravan in Arizona. It's the only outfit I know of that contracts in the triple digits. We've seen better days, though. During the Legion's War with Arizona Rangers, White Sands tried to sell arms to both sides. Dumb shit idea. Legion rounded up the board of directors and crucified them. Then they selected a new board of directors. The message was clear. These days, we have competition from everyone. Not many deal in our slave contracts, though. And that's what pays the most. And what if I wanted to become a slaver? What? Want to give us some competition? I wouldn't advise it. If you're looking for wealth and fame, you usually break even. Uh, your co-workers wouldn't hesitate to sell their own mother to you and the buyers. Uh -huh. Well, I wouldn't say bad things about my current employers, but the squeeze the orius until the bulls bleed. You might be joining them. Wait, what? Yeah, we missed a sentence there because it went too fast again. Damn it. <laughs> and what if I wanted to buy a slave? White Sands only sells to Legion per our 2281 contract. You'd have to try some of the larger contracts in Kingsman or some other town. Are there any rules to slavery in the Legion? Rules of slavery? There's a few. Legion doesn't like independently owned slavery farms. Only Legion's allowed to do that. Sh oh. Okay. So that guy was running an independently owned one. So the Legion's good with chattel slavery. Ugh. But... <laughs> in this lore that they're adding in here but the independent ones are a no-no okay it's called chattel slavery it's when slaves are the private property of the owner but private ownership of slaves isn't allowed f for uh, for liberty and what's a liberty liberty es como libertad it basically means a freed man you can think of it as the people who are at the liberty to live something liberty actually have it easier than legion soldiers do as long as you follow the rules ranchers traders prospectors their skills make them useful but they're required to use those skills for the legion otherwise no more liberty okay so that's actually pretty interesting in irl real room there was of course the similar freedmen uh, who were former slaves who did get freed, and usually because they had some sort of value, they'd end up running the businesses and such for their former slave masters. Now, as freedmen, some got into trade and became merchants. Uh, it was a pretty good class to be in, honestly, compared to they, they were above the usual uh, rabble, uh, but of course not as high up as full citizens. So, uh, nifty. That's all. Thank you for your time. I like that they added that into here. The concept of the freedman. Hmm. Just make me look good, yeah? Yeah, sure. Will do, Carlos. Get back to your tent. <laughs> back to Stanley. I mean, we could just run over there, but yeah, we'll... Uh, there we go. Yeah, so interesting that they added in the, the freeman concept there with that. I find that very intriguing. This was very much a thing in ancient Rome. And definitely better to be a freeman than a plebeian. <laughs> All right, in we go. I mean, except for the fact that you had to have been a oh, slave first. <laughs> that's that's not great. Yo, Stanley, I know you're trying to go to bed, but no, I got things to tell you. And what's the news on the slavers? Oh, I finished the job. Great, tell me what you learned. 
Uh, we should call for the slaves to rise up against the Legion. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Legion would kill us for that. Uh, here's my report on the independent slave trade. It's barbaric. Here's my report on the independent slave trade. It's business. <laughs> here's my report on the independent slave trade. It's Caesar's will. I mean, except for the chattel slavery thing. Well, independent chattel slavery. Uh, we'll go with the it's business one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the one guy was talking about all the bureaucratic nonsense and all that. So, yeah, here we go. That it is a terrible business, but terribly effective, too. You're right, though. We need to maintain a neutral tone, even if it's getting harder and harder to do these days. Anything else? I looked into Malachi. Ha ha, yes. And what about him? Don't know what happened. Legion killed Malachi for no reason. <laughs> he was a chattel slaver. What's wrong with that? We need to deal with him as appropriate. Protect uh, the snare. I'm gonna. I kind of want to click this one because I'm intrigued what he's gonna say about it to get some more info out of this. But we already know. We learned from, uh, dude. What, what was the guy's name? Carlos. Was that his name? The guy we were literally just talking to before Stanley. Uh, that the Legion's cool with doing it themselves, but not independent chattel slavers. But I'm intrigued what Stanley is going to say about it, as I would like some more info there. Yeah. So what's wrong with that? Well, it's illegal. I don't know if you knew that. I take serious offense to glamorizing chattel slavery. I didn't glamorize it, though. I'm writing the Legion dealt with him as appropriate. At the very least, that should keep them from breathing down my neck. And yeah, why does the Legion care so much about chattel slavery? We also got more money for that. Yay. Well, good question. It's a delicate issue in one sense. All the Legion is a chattel slavery system. People are born slaves and they die. I suppose the Legion's internal slavery is acceptable because it's done righteously. Everyone serves Kaiser, the son of Mars. Now replace Kaiser with some sleazy businessman and what's left? A single individual building an ever-growing army of servants. It'd be a disaster. Fair enough. Anything else? Well, okay, I don't have any further work right now, but come back in three days, I might have something good. Oh, thank God. I got worried there for a moment that he'd be done with us. But no, three days time. Magnificent. That's actually a perfect place to end the video, too, here today, because we are at 27-ish minutes. So, uh, yeah, we can end the episode here. And in the next episode, I'll, I'll wait three days and off cam, and so we can come back and just talk straight with Stanley once more. That will be magnificent. Until that time, I guess I'll just go hang out up in the bathhouse up here. Was this building, right? Hold on, hold on. Yep, yep, there we go. Nice. Now back here, hey. out of my way, out of my way, and... Uh, so, hopefully you all have enjoyed this episode today, and you do come back for the next one. But until that time, thank you for watching, as always. Well, have a good one.